<laughs> yes. Welcome back, Magnum Valley Arsenal. Today we got a brand new gun. Love brand new guns. This time it's a Ruger uh, 380 uh, in the LCP. It's never been shot, brand new in the box. So I've got a couple rounds that we're gonna shoot out of it, both defense rounds. And uh, I think we're gonna use that same shooter as last time. What do you think? I think so. So come check it out. This is the Ruger LCP. LCP, that stands for lightweight, compact, and portable. This is brand new in the box. What is this guy? Oh, it's a holster. Sweet. All right. What have we got here? Check it out. Look at this guy. Ruger LCP 380 Auto. Check this side out. Awesome. Look how small that guy is. Again, I've got the small hands myself. Awesome. What else do we got in the box? All right. The lock. Who needs a lock? All right. Here's the stock. Uh, all right. It comes with uh, different oh floor plates for your uh, for your mag. So basically, you can take press this button. That should slide off. Be careful because if you slide this bad boy off. That whole spring will fly out uh, and then you're gonna be running looking for a spring like like you opened a pin in uh in high school or whatever so be careful with that but the reason why we have different plates are like on this other mag that i brought to show off this floor plate sticks out a little bit further so let's take a look see how it kind of points out there a little bit allows you to hook your finger on it you know just a little comfort thing depending on how big your hands are so anyway that's pretty neat little function little little guy there now so uh my uncle he has one of these himself and that's why we decided to buy another one but he has customized customized his he's got different springs in uh the different springs for uh, uh these weapons are for many different reasons so so let's say you buy it for your lady friend right and let's see it what is this little safety guy here get out of there oh cool man cool so that's still kind of tough so you can buy different springs for these guys to make that a lot easier for for uh you know people that aren't as strong as you know a 200 pounder like myself you can get different spring weights for your uh your trigger pull as well some people have a hard time pulling that trigger that's pretty stiff for a, a little compact like this. Remember, it's an LCP, lightweight, compact, and portable. Uh, so, uh, or does that mean powerful? We're gonna find out. But anyway, let's uh, uh, rack this thing with a few rounds. What do we bring with us today? Let's see here, here's some defense rounds. We've been shooting out of this box, obviously. Little jacketed hollow points. I believe this one is 88 grains. Uh, yep, 88 grains. Uh, this guy here, the six hour. Oh, nice. That looks pretty cool. Nice defense round. But I know these guys, they only run at about 955 feet per second. So, kind of a slow round, but I guarantee you it'll hit, especially with that hollow point. It'll, uh, it'll be a good defense round. <laughs> Sorry, I had to go rummage through my box of tricks there i just wanted to compare i just wanted to compare the size of a 380 auto and a nine mil pretty close that diameter is really close as well thank you camera lady that was a good shot so nine mil 380 a little bit different it's up to you and what you want to use a nine mil for me would probably be a larger gun this one looks kind of cool to carry actually Let's put it in that holster and see what it looks like. Sweet. So this one is, this uh, type of holster is designed to go inside your waistband. 
So you could stick it right here, right here. I'm a concealed carry holder myself, and I would prefer this gun. I'd probably hold it right there. No one can see it. You know, that's you don't want to be running around people knowing that you got a gun on you. That's just kind of me. Uh, even though I make shooting videos, I still don't want people to know I've got a gun on me. I just think it makes them uncomfortable. So anyway, I would uh, recommend having something tiny and cool like this. All right, so let's put some rounds in it and our guest shooter is gonna make a few shots. I know I say it every time, I'm gonna do it every time. Safety talk, ears, 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 ears. Safety uh, glasses. Uh, I like to go with the whole Z70, whatever it is, glasses that are rated for OSHA, just because I'm in the uh, construction industry and I just feel like a regular glasses may not, you know, cut up to the, uh, the same performance or whatever, you know, toughness. But uh, always gotta have ear protection. A lot of times uh, you'll see me shooting a smaller caliber, you know, which isn't as loud, so I'll just use a little ear plugs, but man, I love some ear muffs. And these guys, you can talk, you can hear through them, you know, they're Bluetooth and all that. So really, if you get one, uh, the type that you can hear outside, you know, you can hear people talking and then the gunshot goes off and it totally cancels it out. I highly recommend noise canceling uh, earphones. But anyway, that was my safety talk. So also, uh, at the end of the video, I always try to blow something up. Well, this is Miss Camera Lady's favorite uh, stuffed animal growing up and she's willing to part with Miss Acorn. And we're gonna find out if acorns or unicorns can actually fly. <laughs> anyway, let's uh, put our gear on and go to take some shots. Are you ready? I'm ready. All right, let's do it. Yeah. Awesome. Good shot. Great shot. Let's see where we hit. All right, so we hit right here and it came blowing out the back. Man, it split that all the way up. How about this guy? What the world? I don't know which hole is entry or exit. That's kind of like a cat eye, huh? <laughs> oh well. Uh, let's uh, use uh, some of those defense rounds and hit this steel. What do you think? Come on. Oh man. I think that was. Uh... Man, I forget what that was. I'm going to have to look in our archives and see. But anyway, you can see what kind of damage we can do. Uh, 303. See, 444. Man, I forget what that is. I'll look it up and see. But here, let's slap some steel with uh, that 380 LCP. And again, those are uh, 88 grains and it flies at about 955 feet per second. And those are the defense rounds. So we're going to see what kind of damage it does to my steel here. Oh, wow, that's cool. <laughs> All right, guys, let's go back to the table. Good. Whoa, that was loud. Oh, man. Okay. <laughs> All right, that was a different load, quite a bit louder. She did a great job shooting it. I'm going to take a couple shots because that looked fun. Fun. Love the gun. 
a little bit tough to rack, I'll have to admit. So if I were you giving it to a lady friend, I would uh, respring it. You can find it on their website, the Ruger website. But this, of course, is the Ruger LCP. Awesome gun. Love it. Tiny. There's the hammer. That's kind of neat. Different hammer. Kind of like my last episode with the different hammers. So, awesome. Let's go look at the steel. Oh, man. Not too much. But hey, that's about like the uh, that nine millimeter we, we were shooting. Uh, speaking of, we're gonna be doing a lot more uh, nine millimeter uh, rounds, defense rounds. I think we're up to what, 45 or so uh, different defense rounds. And so we're gonna make several videos on those guys. Whew, I had to take a cut there. I am sweating. It's humid out here <laughs> anyway thanks you uh, thank you for watching please like and subscribe uh, like you like I always say it helps us afford a lot more toys more fun uh, again we're gonna have the nine millimeter shootout coming up with the different defense rounds looking at maybe 45 or so different rounds different brands etc uh, also we got ballistics gel we got a chronograph that we're gonna be using uh, that, that can capture your muzzle velocity and I probably wouldn't be shooting at it downrange. I thought about it because I'll probably blow it up because I'm going to miss and hit the, the goods in it. But anyway, uh, again, uh, thank you for watching. Now let's blow something up. What do you think? Let's Acorn, we're going to make you fly. <laughs> All right, as usual, I'm, I'm going down a little bit in my uh, powder range here because it blew up my dang spool. But this is the quarter pound all you need I promise so what do you think same can I get him her to stay all right <laughs> my kids will clean that up later all right that, that piece of metal that I love using saves my school what do you think Let's see what we got. Oh, trusty here, my 270. See what you got. <laughs> hey guys thanks for watching now we're going to see if colin can hit that bottle cap again what do you think i thought that was pretty cool oh no <laughs> acorn we're going to add that to our list of victims <laughs> speaking of victims Let's add this guy right here. All right, Puddles and Elmo. Who is that? I forget. That was that puppy. <laughs> All right, bottle cap time. I get him and the shot over here. Okay. Hey, you put the treat. Look that up. Hold on, Colin. <laughs> we, I was fine. Physical difficulties here. Yeah, you good. All right. Let me know when. Oh, you can't do it for the video, man. All right, it's all right. Oh my goodness, there shot. was a bug on my hand the whole time. Yeah, see what you got. <laughs> 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 
I ain't hitting it, Nick. Hey, you want to try it? Take a breather. Kill it. Oh, but imagine just like yeah, sitting here knowing that. she's now, about the shoe, but you can't ruin the shot and you see something fall from the tree <laughs> onto your head. <laughs> Where's it hitting? Man, you hit it on that. All right. <laughs> Both Colin and I almost wasted a whole magazine on that. So you know what I'm gonna do? I'm just gonna blow it up my 270. <laughs> Ear protection. Gotta use the big boys for this one. Those earbuds, they won't cut it. All right. Oh, trusty. Oh, wow, look at that. It's hanging in there. I've got it set up strong. I think we've met our match. There he goes. Wow. How did you have this thing set up, man? No wonder it wouldn't knock down. Dude, that looks like Terminator 2 right there. This is... You can see where we were actually hitting it, you know. Yeah, so we're trying to, at some point we did lose the bottle cap, but, so the point of the game is, see how we hit it multiple times here on this right side? So you're trying to hit that bottle cap so it flies off and it, the last video colin made it happen on just his like second try but this time you can see we were hitting it but it didn't work unless we missed it i have to check my slow-mo so maybe this guy this guy caught it but anyway look at that that's a tough bottle <laughs> okay guys come and see us next time thanks for watching